methods are feasible today. So what's holding them back? The Terrafugia transition is one of the flying cars trying to become a standard reality. For nearly as long as there have been cars, there have been dreamers trying, and failing, to make them fly. The skies today are filled with fixed-wing airplanes, drones and helicopters. Rockets, satellites and even manned permanent space stations soar above the atmosphere, extending humankind and number 39's climb away from Earth and number 39's gravitational pull. Yet, 100 years after the debut of aviation pioneer Glenn Curtis and No. 39, autoplane in 1917 and the countless unfulfilled promises of tinkerers, the car remains maddeningly stuck on the ground. So why, exactly, has this one early transportation dream remained so frustratingly out of reach? To this point, it and No. 39, has been the engineering insufficient power to weight ratios and the scarcity of lightweight composite materials, for example, as well as difficult regulatory hurdles associated with both experimental aircraft and the automobile. But perhaps for the first time in a century, the contention that flying cars are just around the corner might not be so far-fetched. Uber said this month that it plans to have flying taxis in Los Angeles, Dallas and Dubai by 2020 and it and number 39, s partnering with NASA to create a special air traffic control system. Volvo Cars and number 39, Chinese owner, Zhejiang Jili Holding Group, last week completed its purchase of Terrafugia, a startup that claims to have developed the first practical flying car. Idan and number 39, T think it and number 39, s being held up anymore, said Pat Anderson. Director of Eagle Flight Research Center at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach, Florida. Tech companies, at least ones that are in and number 39, T convinced that underground tunnels are the future, are rushing to buy flying car companies lest they get left behind when the Uber, but with flying. Anderson says the cutting-edge technologies and trends driving the automotive industry, hybrid electric power trends, super lightweight composite materials, Autonomous driving systems, shared ownership models, also are pushing development in light aircraft. Coupled with a massive easing of aircraft development regulations that only went into full effect August 31st, the flying car, or something approximating that long-held dream, is finally within reach. And not only is it achievable, big players are moving to make it happen, and relatively soon. The engineering is possible today, Anderson explained. With one big caveat, what everybody is calling a flying car in the media does not go down the road and has no wheels. What does that mean? It means, a vehicle that, is going to replace the car, in some instances, Anderson said. It does and number 39, T mean it will be a plane that and number 39, s going to drive down the road or park in your garage. Since Curtis Airplane and Motor Company first showed its autoplane prototype in 1917, most of the development work on flying cars has been focused on vehicles that might more accurately be called roadable airplanes, that is, they can be flown and then later driven on the road. With few exceptions, most of these have been winged two or four passenger vehicles. Like the Curtis Autoplane prototype, many of these roadable airplanes, the Terrafugia Transition and Aeromobile are modern examples, have employed mechanisms that allow the wings to retract or fold when the vehicle is on the ground, making it narrow enough to navigate in traffic with other cars. But there have always been baked in problems with this type of design, including excessive noise, safety concerns, the need for runways and the need for a pilot and number 39's license. There is also the requirement to meet rigid aviation safety regulations as well as nettlesome and costly automotive safety regulations. Henry Ford said, Mark my word, a combination of airplane and motor car is coming. You may smile, but it will come. And now might just be the time. Sort of. In 2014, Aeromobile said we would. Those compounded requirements have proved burdensome, to say the least, for some inventors. Take 80-year-old Canadian engineer Paul Mahler. He and number 39, has been chasing the dream of a flying car for over 50 years and developed the M400 Skikar, a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, 
that made its first test flight in 2003. Mahler explained that stringent automotive safety regulations were the reason his Skikar design had three wheels instead of four, classifying it as a motorcycle under federal law. If you land number 39, V got to deal with the crash protection issues of the automobile, forget it, you and number 39, re never going to fly it, Mahler explained in a 2004 TED talk. If you land number 39, re going to fly like that, you and number 39, Re not going to spend much time on the highway. If history proves anything, it is that cars and planes probably don in number 39, T-Mix, except in the minds of inventors. The smashing together of a car and an airplane makes neither a good car nor a good airplane, Embry Riddle in number 39, S. Anderson said. Yet the burning desire to build a flying car keeps even some famous inventors thinking about overcoming such obstacles. We could definitely make a flying car, but that and number 39, s not the hard part, Tesla CEO Elon Musk told a London audience in 2014. The hard part is, how do you make a flying car that and number 39, s super safe and quiet? Because if it and number 39, s a howler, you and number 39, re going to make people very unhappy. While routable airplanes remain a long shot at best. Experts agree that at least some automotive functionality soon will move to the sky. Forget self-driving cars, flying cars are the next hot thing. Who wants to sort through work emails during their commute in the back of a sedan as it inches through gridlock? Where are we in number 39, re-going, we. Among the most likely to arrive first, point-to-point -point autonomous airborne ride services that one might employ to travel, say, in New York between LaGuardia Airport in Queens and a landing pad in Midtown Manhattan, bypassing gridlock traffic. Such vehicles likely will and number 39, D have wheels or spend any time on the streets. Instead, they would fly distances of about 25 miles or less, making important variables such as weather more predictable, be electrically powered with multiple rotors and fly completely autonomously. In other words, a large drone with human cargo, or an Uber Black for the sky. The way helicopters pick up rich people and take them from place to place out of traffic? That and number 39, s what you and number 39, re going to see, except with drones, said Don Hillebrand, director of the Center for Transportation Research at Argonne National Laboratory in suburban Chicago. It may not be five years from now, but it will happen. Some well-known companies in the aerospace and automotive industries already are preparing. At this year in number 39, S. Geneva Auto Show, aerospace giant Airbus teamed up with Itl Design, an automotive design and engineering firm, to display a concept called the Pop Dot Up. It comprises an enclosed, two-seat, carbon fiber pod that autonomously attaches to either an eight-rotor flying module or a four-wheeled ground module depending on where the passengers need to go. Both modules would be battery-powered, the two companies said, and each module would return to its charging station when not in use to juice up and await its next call for service. I think, right now, the urban sky is quite underutilized, and that and number 39, is exactly the proposition, said Matthias Thompson, general manager for urban air mobility at Airbus. The grid-like layouts of roads do s and number 39, d actually do it for us. We think that by combining air and ground, we will get a much better use of the space than we have in our cities. Two hours after it was launched to much fanfare, a driverless, autonomous shuttle was bumped into by a human-driven delivery truck in Las Vegas. The driver of the truck was cited for unsafe. With fully autonomous driving, once you crack that, you have a completely safe car that can and number 39, T crash into another car, Hilleburn explained. And once you have cars that can and number 39, T hit each other, you don and number 39, T need all of these, automotive, safety standards. Autonomous driving and the related communications infrastructure, in theory, should make obsolete the need for lanes, traffic signals and other traffic devices along with the stringent mandates contained in the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration regulations, Hilleburn said.
but at 1 and number 39, T reduce the number of people who need to get from point A to point B. Overcrowding, Hillebrand said, is much harder in a two-dimensional space on the ground than it is in a three-dimensional space in the air, where vehicles can move side to side as well as up and down to avoid collisions. So when you solve that dream, you and number 39, V changed the way cities look. The other big driver is battery technology, specifically energy density, Hillebrand said. The calculations we and number 39, V done so far indicate that we need about a five-fold increase in battery energy density, to about 1,000 watt-hours per kilogram. The good news is, we and number 39, re-improving at 3 to 5 percent a year, so with the power of compounding, we and number 39, LL get there someday relatively soon. Still, one old nemesis will remain, weather. Even though autonomous point-to-point -point flying vehicles likely would travel at elevations below 1,000 feet, they still would be susceptible to ice that could dramatically decrease their ability to remain aloft. The main reason these vehicles will have limited range, probably 25 miles or so, is that if you go much further than that, you can and number 39, T really guarantee what the weather is going to be like, and icing becomes a problem, said Anderson the Embry-Riddle professor. Hillebrand agreed, I doubt we in number 39, re ever going to be able to control that. Dude, we're in number 39, s my flying car? Originally appeared in Automotive News on November 20, 2017. By Larry P. Villiquet at Automotive News. Car life, car news, technology, but wait there's more, luxury, other news, rumor mill, hybrid, electric. DIY